And we're back with another episode of On the Record with Tiffany. And Kevin, recently added. I know she's resisting it, but I'm yeah. adding my name there. Yeah, throwing my own name. Here on 9.30 a.m., The Answer. Uh, and we can also be seen on the African American Network Television, where we have a local feel with a global reach. And this week, we've got a lot going on. Uh, because... Finally, we are having the first annual Golf for Kidneys event. Um, my day job is as the president and CEO of the Texas Kidney Foundation. And what we do at TKF is we... What do you do, Tiffany? Tell me more. Because this is supposed to be, I thought I was supposed to be asking you the question. Right, you just went on into the thing there. TKF. Come on now. Ask me some questions about Texas All right. Foundation, please. All right. <laughs> I will. I will. I will do exactly that. All right. So, all right. So your day job is the Texas Kidney Foundation, right? Yes. All right. So I, my understanding, right, is that you guys have a lot of events coming up. One in particular yes, in April do. and another one in June, right? Mm -hmm. So tell us about the one in April. Okay, so we have a one, two, three weekend. What does that mean? One, and two, three, what? So we have three events in one weekend, April 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. So April 21st, we, for all of you golf lovers, we have a golf tournament. A golf tournament? Where at, my love? It is Where? going to be at the beautiful Quarry uh, golf course. And I am assembling a golf team to beat your boy Vance, right? So Vance is a personal friend of ours. And so we are in hit, we are uh, leading the celebrity part. And so he's got, he's getting his golf team together and I'm getting mine and my guys are going to big shout out Vance, but they're going to beat you. Okay. All right. Now the golf uh, tournament is being sponsored by uh, the Grihi Family Foundation. And, you know, we just have to say big thanks mm -hmm. uh, to Mr. Bill Grihi. He has yes. been wonderful to us. His team has been wonderful to us. Uh, they they have just really supported Texas Kidney Foundation because uh, what we do uh, is is important to the community. Okay. Uh, and what we do is we provide early detection of chronic kidney disease. And right now we have uh, the we have partnered with Bear County, and we have to say a big thanks to uh, mm -hmm. Tommy Calvert, yep. uh, who has championed that. And then, you guys, once Tommy uh, really brought it out and and uh, had us come to the commissioner's court and talk about uh, chronic kidney disease. Then uh, haven't you got other people on this board in the commission? Oh, my goodness. Uh, I can't say enough for Rebecca Clay Flores. Mm -hmm. Commissioner Rebecca Clay Flores has just been. Um, Do you know if she golfs? Uh, I don't know if if the commissioner golfs, um, but I know this. She's supporting us 100 okay. percent. Her team is has been uh, making sure that that Texas Kidney Foundation uh is involved with the commissioner's court and, and uh, the okay. funding that they have for ARPA. They, they've, they've even uh, looked at what we're doing and said, this is, this is okay. really important to us. All right. So let's, we're, you, you're jumping ahead. I'm supposed to be asking the questions, Ms. Yeah, Smith, you asked me Ms. Questions, Jones Ms. Smith. Let me ask the questions there. You, you're just striking out my, you jumped ahead of my questions there. But so I, I just have to say one more thing okay. about, about always uh, more, right? About our commissioner's court. And that is this initiative that we're doing is so precious to all of us because it is is the largest uh, public health initiative for kidneys that's ever been done in the United States in a single county. And it's minority led. We, we literally have have uh, a, a, a a movement that's so that's for us by us. So let's you know? let's jump into that part first. We'll come back and we'll talk because you're excited about that. Yes. All right, on the way up here, Tiffany was just going, oh, we should talk about it. I was like... Because it's empowerment. Like people have to... Ha this is one of those things where we talk about this all the time that human beings have within them the power to do the things that they need to do for themselves. You don't need a benevolent benefactor, a benevolent other. You simply need to join together, pull your resources and go for broke on the thing that you need done. 
Okay. So tell me more about the, tell me more one about, about, about what the Texas Kidney Foundation is doing. Let's talk about uh, the screenings that, that you're doing in the community. What's your goal on that? Talk, tell more about that. Well, our goal uh, with the screenings is 8,000 people. Okay. 8,000. So we're, we are identifying kidney disease in 8,000 Bear County residents. So we're screening screening for kidney disease in 8,000 Bear County residents, and we expect to identify it in somewhere between 34 percent at the minimum, 34 percent. of those. Okay, Why is that important? Why, why is that part important? Um, because one in three have some uh, are at risk for kidney disease and one in seven have some stage of kidney disease and, and they're walking around. They don't know that. They why don't they know it? So if I have kidney disease, you know, I think I'm healthy. You, you don't know. feel bad with kidney disease. Mm -hmm. You do not feel bad with kidney disease. And so when uh, one gets tested mm -hmm. for kidney disease, that's how you find out that somebody has it there. You literally don't feel bad until you're in the latter stages of the disease. All right. So what's your connection with kidney disease, your personal connection? I've lost 12 family members to chronic kidney disease. And I and really, you know, when I say that, people are like, oh, you know, that's terrible. You've lost 12 family members to chronic kidney disease. I really want you to drink in what that feels like, because you with kidney disease, it's, it's not quick. It's it's uh, it's a long it's a long disease uh, in, in most cases. And so. Uh, what you do is, is you literally watch the light go out of a person. You watch the joy go out of a, out of a person. Why? It's not the case with everybody. Well, when you say that, right. So let's talk about that. They right? change. So when you say that, so there's stages of kidney disease and mm -hmm. I never, I had known about kidney disease prior to this. Mm -hmm. Uh, you had one of your cousin, your cousin, the, the, the person's closest to me that I'm aware of had kidney disease and it was very traumatic how he found out, but okay. So mm -hmm. talk about that process. So I go down these stages of kidney disease, right? Mm -hmm. What's mm -hmm. the last stage right before my kidneys are just completely at failure. And would um, I even know it? Well, kidney disease ranges from stages one to five. So when now you're Tiffany is five, not a doctor, right? But she is far more self-educated on this matter than I <laughs> yeah. am. So that's why we're asking. Um, and so we're talking about this uh, from a patient perspective, mm -hmm. you know, and I always approach kidney disease from from our perspective. Us as, as uh, patients and as caregivers, the perspective of the people that are listening and your perspective, I'm, I approach it from that because mm -hmm. um, often in our healthcare system, we have a broken healthcare system. We have a system that rewards uh, providers for taking care of you while you're sick. And so it's, it's broken in many ways because it's, it's broken from their end, it's broken from our end. We're not we're not getting the best and they're not allowed to give us the best because okay. of the way the system is. Um, so anyway, when when. Uh, when I took this job, I was I thought that there was a genetic link in our family because, well, of, well, the, because well, of the numbers. Well, well hold on. Walk me through. You, we made a statement earlier that, hey, when someone gets uh, kidney disease, if they're if they have to be on dialysis, once they go there, right, they is kind of a, you know, your term you used was their lights. The lights kind of go out, right? Not that they die, but the joy, right? So let's yeah. walk through that. So I go from being this individual who works. And who's independent. Who's independent, right? You All know, those things uh, that we love. I'm, you know, we, that, we, we associate a lot of our identity with what we do or or mm -hmm. uh, our status in the family, how we how we're interacting with people that a lot of our identity as and so, people is associated with with what we do. With kidney disease, uh, if you when you progress to the latter stages of kidney disease and end up on dialysis, yeah, um, dialysis is the only therapeutic that keeps people alive. So we, you know, we're not anti. I'm not anti dialysis. It, it is what keeps people alive. But you don't want to end up in that position so, because that therapeutic requires. It, it, what it is is all of the blood is taken out of your body. Mm -hmm cleaned of its toxins because your kidneys clean and are naturally clean your blood, mm -hmm. clean the toxins out of your blood. All that blood is, is taken out of your body. It's clean uh, and then put back in your body. 
Are you well, out? Can you work? That's a three to four hour process that has to happen three to four days a week. Mm -hmm. So talk about so that. So for most people, they can't work anymore. So I want you to describe. They're tired. Mm -hmm. it, it's not a process that, you know, you're just energized afterwards. For many, they are are tired. Uh People experience things like uh, nausea at the end and throwing up. And that's not an uncommon thing to see in a in a dialysis. But the you thing that I found interesting pain. Yeah, it was the headaches because I know Daryl right. Daryl Jr. is, is uh, Tiffany's uh, first cousin. And he had uh, he's 30 ish one. Mm -hmm. He's still a kid in my head. But yeah, anyway, uh, he, he talked about the headaches. But it happened when he was 21. Yeah. And he, but he talks about the headaches, that the headaches were excruciating. Yeah. Right. Talk yeah. about okay. So you so you have and a it, you know, and it's different for every person. There are people that that go through it and uh, and really motor through. You so know? Let, let's talk about a couple of things, right? So you have a person who is now on their kidney failure, so their lives have been totally adjusted, right? Totally, work is gone. Everything is a work is adjusted. Down. Yeah. So now your work, mm -hmm. you you. If you're still able to maintain your job, right? And a lot of people are. Uh, so now you've inherited. A lot of people aren't. Aren't able as to well. Maintain their and job. so you've inherited an, at least an $85,000 bill, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Now you, you're doing something that, that uh, you know, well, well, kidney disease is, you know, dialysis is paid for uh, by the government. There's, there, there are a bunch of different programs that, that pay for dialysis. You're not, you don't inherit the, the bill of mm -hmm. dialysis because this is one of the only countries in the world mm -hmm. that um, if you are on dialysis it, or you go into renal failure uh, there, you know, we take care of a hundred percent of the people that are on in renal failure in this nation. This yeah. is one of the only nations in the world that does that. But even with that though, right. So I was on, the, I, I, I volunteer my to the services. Tune of $120 billion a year. Yeah. I think you heard that right. 120 billion with a B a year. This state houses 10% of the kidney disease population uh, for the nation. And we spend, Anyway, go ahead. All right. <laughs> and I'm talking about Medicare and Medicaid costs. Yeah. All right. Okay. So Tiffany's doing everything that I told her not to do oh, when I prep for this, right? <laughs> She's getting passionate and going off He's the like, VPN. And I'm, like, and I'm like, hey, we're supposed Whatever to be walking. You do, it in. <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> so like, all right. So sorry. Tiffany's extremely passionate about this disease, right? And mm -hmm. I had never heard of it. Well, most of us have heard of it, right? We have an aunt or an uncle that that had some type of kidney failure or I had a friend uh, who had, who was on dialysis, but I'd never really heard of it. I, all I knew was to check, uh, to check for lumps. People in my know what it is. They think there's dialysis. There's a therapeutic for yeah. it. And people are going to be fine. They're fine. I know somebody who's on dialysis, you know, everybody it's, it's everywhere, but it's nowhere. All right. You are a little passionate about this, right? A little. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. so this passion that she feels, right, it's led us, in, it's, it's, I say us because we're in this together as a family. What has it led, mm -hmm. what are some main things that the, that the Texas Foundation is trying to do? I'm passionate about it for several reasons. Okay. Because I, I, I think it is a microcosm of, of, uh, of the world and the world that we live in today. We've got all of these, like if you talk about kidney disease, the first thing people uh, discuss with you is that it, it's, it's minorities, uh, this is something that black people have more of mm -hmm. and something that that Hispanic people have more. Of. But when you really look at the numbers, what you see is that kidney disease affects the poor. Mm -hmm. That's the primary group. It affects the poor. There are. Yes. When you look at percentages, it affects black people a bit more than it affects non-blacks, non-blacks. But it affects all of us, when let's let's look at the statistic. One in three are at risk for kidney disease. That means everybody's being affected by it. Mm -hmm. There's not a people group that's not touched by it. But the, politi the, the politics that go into all of these uh, racial issues that people throw into something like kidney disease, which should never be, mm -hmm. none of that should ever come into play because the poor in this nation there's honor in, in doing a hard day's work. And a lot of people who do a hard day's work, uh, 
mm-hmm. every day. Well, let's talk have about this. Have are at risk for this disease. Okay, so let's talk about the issue we, we brought up race, right? Yeah, so mm-hmm. talk about that. How how one how does race play a factor <coughs> in chronic kidney disease? And two, what are you trying to do? What is the organization trying to do to address that? I know you're you're taking this on in many fronts. Yes, right. But this mm-hmm. this particular front on the on the racial issue. Walk us through that. T- talk well, about there's, that. there you know I get into this and start looking at it into kidney disease. And one of the first things I see is that there's something called race correction. What is race correction? It is where kidney disease has, you know, it has an algorithm that, that they use to, to, um, to adjust as, as to whether or not somebody, the, the illness level of. Yeah. Person. So it's your kidney function, right? So they're, there's, they're there's looking a, at they're, they're looking at your kidney function. You're, Estimated glomerular filtration rate. And I can never say that right. Um, so. so it's, you know, they're basically they're looking at your kidney function uh, and they they made a decision to adjust the um, what the findings are in mm-hmm. African-Americans, only in African-Americans. OK, no now what does that mean? Because, OK, most people that are listening to this are like me. Right. When you were telling yeah, me I this, I was like, was so I saw it what it too. does. So I'll use layman terms. Right. What it does is it makes African-Americans. It makes their it, it makes their kidney it. functions, makes it look better than what it actually is. So uh, if I select. OK, when you go in, you take a kidney screening. Right. It is. They ask you for race. It has race. Black, African African American, black, and then it has other, all other races, all other races, right? So it singles out only that, only our group. So it makes you look better and your kidney function and what you actually are. So one of the things that causes, it causes you to miss the window. It can cause you to miss the window for transplantation. It uh, can cause you to look like you're healthier than you are. Mm -hmm. And then you go into renal failure and everybody's like, what just happened? Let me give one more piece of there. So my so it could be me and let's say my sister in law. Right. So me and my sister in law, let's say we're approaching kidney failure and say her number. And I'm making these numbers. I forget what the range is. Say her number is 15. Right. And my number is 15 on the without the racial racial adjustment. But when they add the racial adjustment, my my fun, kidney function actually looks better than what it actually is. So when they add without the racial the adjustment, they'll say that Kevin's number is is maybe 26. Yeah. So it looks hers, better. Hers is, and 15. Hers is still 15. She's going to get a certain set. Of, she's going to get a certain set of uh, treatment. And then he's going to get a yeah. certain set. Of treatment. Now, there were now when you make that adjustment, then that. <clears throat> whether or not somebody can get a transplant, whether or not somebody mm-hmm. is getting X, Y, Z treatment, all of that is determined based on what what your uh, EGFR is. Now, and, now, the thing that I thought was interesting one moment was that when you get when when there are kidneys, when I if I receive a kidney uh, uh, transplant, I can receive a kidney transplant from that same white person who's been, quote unquote, identified as white. Right. Mm -hmm. Because the body doesn't know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, It was identified as Caucasian. So it's not it's it's not biological. Right. Okay, So with race adjustment, uh, immediately determined that that was wrong. And uh, we started going after it. Finally, uh, this year, Mm -hmm. say no, in 2021, the declaration was made uh, from uh, the American Society of Nephrology that uh, kidney disease uh, should not be we, they shouldn't be making this differentiation mm-hmm. based on based on yeah. uh, on race. Um, so that's great. That's great. Uh, because we've been saying that. Wonderful. Uh, what we did, what I did to take it a step further was uh, when I saw that it was wrong well before these people decided to make the declaration, oh, it's wrong. Um, I started writing to people and asking them to remove this. Writing to companies, corporations, uh, um, schools, medical schools, Mm -hmm. uh, and asking them to remove race correction from their their uh, from their tests uh-huh. or at least because when you if you take a blood test like if you go to any lab right now and take a blood test you will see um, the African-American number 
uh, if you if you're African American, you will see your EGFR as an African American and your EGFR without they give mm-hmm. you two numbers and your EGFR if you were an African American mm-hmm. without the adjustment. Uh, so what I called and asked. Uh, what I reached out and, and asked people to do is remove that. Just, remove the column. Just, do, just remove it. Just so have only the... Were some people the responded? Did some people not respond? Uh, most people didn't respond. Some people responded with, we don't... So the test that you run doesn't, right? <laughs> yep. So we we use, use a um, creatinine statin meter. The only kind, the only one of its kind... Uh, that's being used in a nonprofit setting in the state of Texas. We brought that to Texas 10 years ago. And so um, with a company called Nova Biomedical, and I reached out to Nova and asked Nova Biomedical to take that out. And they did. But the thing, if you read the literature, right, if you go to scholar.google.com, not Google, but scholar.google.com, you'll see where the uh, uh, JAMA says it sh- that, that it should be removed. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, every national of ki- American Medical yeah, Association, yep. JAMA. And then there's uh, every other, uh, uh, every kidney oh, yeah. foundation like on the planet about saying major, yes. We're talking about the, the, the movers and the shakers within the, mm-hmm. the community have now uh, jumped on board and said no that it's wrong and and they have have uh, the scientific backing also that says that it's it's wrong they don't you know so but we did get that removed from the uh, from the meters going forward and mm-hmm. that's a major accomplishment for on, us on the meters that the, we use right the, on the very meters that we use in our beautiful state. Uh, and it says to people, you know, when I when we talk about empowerment, uh, this is what empowerment is. You have to see something when you see something is wrong. Instead of stomping your feet and and uh, pitching a fit, you go out and you change things through action. Policy. Uh, and just sheer fortitude and will this will change. And that's my attitude when it comes down to it. You, you don't, uh, yes, I, I think one of my friends described me as a force of nature. That's right, I'm a hurricane. Yes, a hurricane. I will sit on you and blow until everything's gone. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly right. All right. All right. <laughs> and you've been listening to On the Record with Tiffany here on 9.30 a.m. The Answer. And you, we can be seen on the African American Network Television where we have a local feel with a global reach. <laughs> And we're back with another episode of On the Record with Tiffany here on 9.30 a.m. The Answer. And we can also be seen on the African-American Network Television, where we have a local feel with a global reach. There we go. All right. So I got Tiffany stirred up there. OK, so I, she's talking <laughs> like we're at the house. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> All right. So you see the passion that's coming through. I see that. Everyone knows that that's coming through in regards to this and to your to what you yeah. do, for, what you do. Right. So tell us now. So what you're doing in the month of April mm-hmm. specifically. Uh, to this. So let's focus on that. So you have uh, one, two, three, right? So walk through that. So we've got our golf for kidneys. Okay, who's sponsoring that? I know you said that earlier part we've of the got episode. The before I got you off track. The, <laughs> <laughs> the wonderful Grehe Family Foundation is sponsoring that. Yep. Um, and then we have, uh, we you know, we can't say enough thank yous to, to Mr. Grehe for, for just really uh, opening up the doors to us and, and uh, it's going to be at the Corey mm-hmm. uh, um, golf club, which and is who, it's beautiful. Who, beautiful who are celebrities? Is this is a celebrity golf course. So who, yes, who, who so are we, three celebrities? So we've got, um, I would have to say one of my favorite people that I've gotten to meet during all of this, this, uh, tumult with kidney disease 
uh, and that's uh, Reginald Ballard, bro man from, um, from, from Martin, Martin. From all you people who are old enough to remember Martin. Everybody was old enough to remember Martin and the Bernie Mac show. Like he was on the Bernie Mac he show was, too. Like, yeah, he was he was uh, Bernie Mac's like uh, car playing friend who always came over Barnes. Okay, we also have a local celebrity. Then we have Cleto. Does Cleto play golf? Cleto plays golf. See why you want to talk about Cleto? I was just asking. I didn't know. He no, he's plays funny. Golf, but, okay. okay, he plays golf. Okay. Um, and then we have a uh, superstar, Brad Jordan. Uh, I mean, he's he's a producer. He's uh, but he is a, not a comedian. Activist. So he's not a comedian. He's not a he comedian. Is, he uh, he's a prolific, well known. A uh, rapper under the the uh, the name Scarface, um, but Brad is is like totally transcends um, all many aspects of entertainment. Yeah. He just does a lot of different things. Very smart guy. Yeah. All these guys are very very smart, right? Uh, and and all have been impacted. I don't, uh, has Cleto um, been impacted by kidney disease? I don't believe he. Well, has. you know where. I, I'll tell you what everybody, each person's tie-in is uh-huh. to kidney disease. So um, with Reginald, Reginald lost his kidneys. He's received a kidney transplant. Did his wife give him a kidney? Oh my he gosh. He can never okay, live that so one if, down. If you have, Man. if you, <laughs> first of all, um, his wife is fire. She is awesome. Um, if you, if you like Reginald, you're going to love Edie. She's just an amazing person. Um, and I think Reginald plays golf, right? I'm sizing these people he does. up because he plays golf. I'm I don't know if he plays well. I don't know if he okay, plays well, right. but he plays. He plays. Um, in fact, that's part of his story. It's okay. like going, he was leaving the golf course, eating the hummus wrap. Anyway, you got. <laughs> you got a funny story with that. Um, <laughs> so there's Reginald. Um, and then. Uh, that's his tie in is that he he's, mm-hmm. he's had a transplant. Um, I think probably one of the more most valid uh, connections to to kidney disease that people need to hear and don't know about is um, is Brad's connection mm-hmm. because Brad lost his kidneys. Brad Jordan, um, his son. he lost his kidneys because of COVID-19. Yeah. And, you know, our, our whole initiative with the 8,000 people that we're screening is because people are in recovery from COVID-19 and don't realize that COVID-19, uh, it, you know, all of the data is coming out saying yeah, that it's re- doing damage to the kidney. Yeah, that there's, and you, don't that. Necess- you don't know that because you wouldn't feel bad with it. Well, uh, Brad lost his kidneys to to uh, COVID-19 and his son, Christian, was the one who uh, gave his dad a kidney. And I mean, this is a like their story is a beautiful story of a father and a son. Uh, mm-hmm. and, and I love it because it's a it's a it's two strong black men mm-hmm. who love one another and they're the both moon from, and back. And they're all, all three of these guys are from Texas, right? So That's Reginald's right. from Texas That's and Galveston. Right. Uh, Brad is from uh, Houston, right? That's right. All right. Mm-hmm. And, then, and then, and then my favorite funny man is, is, is Cleto. Yep. Uh, <laughs> uh, so. Cause Cleto. he had a bad, uh, he had a bad uh, uh, encounter with, I say bad encounter with COVID, right? Similar to what I had, but his was a little more, uh, a little worse, right? Tell me more. Um, Cleto had a terrible encounter with with COVID nineteen, and and uh, again, his whole life changed being mm-hmm. being thrown into uh, illness mm-hmm. and in in the hospital. And now Cleto is is out. He's doing his. He is his usual hilarious self. Mm-hmm. Uh, but he he has a, a devotion to to uh, kidney patients and to health, mm-hmm. to really helping people um, realize the importance of their health. All right, so and the and the empowerment that standing up and taking a voice for yourself yeah. has. All right, so you've told us the sponsor is this mm-hmm. degree foundation. We have our celebrities, right? We have two comedians, right? Uh, Reginald uh, Ballard. We have Cleto, right? Yeah. And then we have Brad Jordan, aka Scarface. Uh, so that's the Scarface plays 
Everything that I looked up, he has a oh really my, good game of golf. Okay, right? so Brad Jordan is like the dude to beat at this uh, at this tournament because he has a six handicap. People and, and, and not to brag, but I am responsible for getting his team together, uh, and we're going to beat Vance and, and uh, Reginald because <laughs> I'm scouting some of the top talent in San Antonio. I've got my team together for my list. All right, so we're, we're going to win. So that's going to be on the 21st, you right? Know, I, so I, if I, I wanted to do this, if I wanted to. Uh, to to, to participate in the uh, in in the golf for kidneys, how would I do it? Well, you go to uh, txkidney.org mm-hmm. uh, and and uh, click on our on our events. And What's it'll walk us right through. And that's right. And if you don't if if you don't know how to access the internet and you just want to make a phone call, uh, you can call the office 210-396-8440. All right. Again, that's 210-396-8440. And uh, we'll walk you through uh, right. how you can purchase a team and you better do it fast because mm-hmm. everybody wants to be at this one. Yes, because my team's going to win, by the way. Just let you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about the next night. So that's on Thursday, right? The 21st. Right. So so April 22nd, okay. we have a mixer at the Tobin. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's really the why we're doing what we're doing. So are all the celebrities going to be there? And yes, each one of them will be there. So uh, Reginald Ballard and his beautiful wife, Edie, will be uh, at the mix. So Reginald is our official spokesperson. Mm-hmm. He's the official spokesperson for the Texas Kidney Foundation. Mm-hmm. Uh and that speaks to Reginald's uh, devotion to the kidney population and to patient empowerment. Mm-hmm. He is 100 percent for patient empowerment because he knows the thing that that uh, I know and that uh, Brad Jordan knows and that Cleto knows you are your greatest advocate. Mm -hmm. And our goal is to equip people with the tools and the knowledge that they need to walk into their, their uh, doctor's office and advocate for themselves. So um, Brad and Edie will be there telling what happened and how they, how they ended up, up, uh, um, getting his kidney transplant because it was actually through a paired donation. So, um, and he'll, he'll explain what that is. Um, uh, we we are going to have uh, Brad Jordan, who who uh, he has an interesting story. About oh, his he has a, he, and his son. So his kidney story is about him and uh, his son. Actually, was was the mm-hmm. match for his kidney. Yeah. Um, so Reginald did the pair donation mm-hmm. with uh, he and Edie, and then we've got Brad, who who mm-hmm. had a match within the family. Yeah. Um, for his. Uh, Which, by kidney. the way, is a big commitment to someone to give That's up an organ. That's a huge uh, for commitment for someone. So, I really uh, shout outs to his. Uh, like, to his really, son Christian is an amazing here. person, and you'll mm-hmm. see that when, yeah, when he's young uh, too. He's what, like yeah, 25, he's, he's young. Okay. He's a, he's a young person with with uh, with a big heart and yep. a lot that 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 he's doing for for the community. So, We're if I want to get about people who care about about uh, making a difference for their fellow man. As passionately as you, you were as in that first, as, in as that as first episode. <laughs> that first episode. As passionately as passionately so as I So if I want to get yeah. tickets, so I have to ask, so if I want to get tickets, Bay, how would I get tickets on that? So same way you would go to, now you can go to the Tobin mm-hmm. for the tickets uh, for the um, comedy for kidneys. Mm-hmm. Um, now that weekend, we, we call the weekend comedy for kidneys because, uh, we're going to make you laugh on Saturday night, Mm -hmm. uh, but we're going to tell you the why. And there'll, there'll be some, some funny moments because when you're talking with Reginald, there's no way talking with Reginald Ballard. This is, uh, you know, he's a, he's a, just a a hilarious person. Mm -hmm. Um, so there will be some, some laughter there, but you're going to truly understand why we do what we do. Um, So, and, and it's a wonderful meet and greet experience Mm -hmm. on Friday night with, with each one of the celebrities. Um, And then Saturday night, Mm -hmm. it's there's, we are having a comedy show at the Tobin. Um, And uh, Reginald will be uh, there talking about his, Mm -hmm. his story in a, in a very, (laughs) <laughs> his usual comedic way. He's he's just and Cleto as well. Will Cleto perform? Uh, 
Cleto is going to actually perform. And so uh, will Goldie. We've, we've got several local comedians that will perform as well. Good. So it's, it's going to be it's a gonna night be of event. laughter and fun. We're going to, uh, you know, as, as one of the, the uh, as the largest kidney organization in the state of Texas headquartered here in San Antonio, this is a, a, a big time for us because uh, this is our community and we love San Antonio. And, and uh, since this is the heart, of, the reason why we headquartered here is because this is, is uh, the heart of kidney disease. Uh, in the state of Texas, okay. and it's a crossroads for it. All right. So to sum up, so we have an event on April twenty first. It's yep. the golf tournament, right? And golf then, for kidneys. Golf for kidneys, and then we have on April twenty second and twenty third, we have the comedy part there, right? We have a mixer on April twenty second where we tell the why of what we do. Okay. And uh, we have a comedy show on April 23rd. All right. So that's good there. All right. Mm -hmm. So I, I like that. Right. So, uh, so if you want to meet our, our celebrities up close and personal, mm -hmm. come to the mixer on April 22nd and really understand who they are and why they do what they do. Right. And if you want to laugh and, uh, have a, have a, a great time, come on the 23rd. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So I got you. Okay. So, uh, Tiff and I, we, when we come right before we come in and record the show, we practice <laughs> uh, and I always say, hey, you know, he's always like really in the passion. Don't do it. <laughs> so we, we, we discuss like, hey, what are the topics? Right. What are the things we're going to we're going to walk through? And, you know, I've sketched out my ideas. She sketched out hers. And so we kind of go back and forth before we get here. Right. And so one of the things that uh, <laughs> Tiff, Tiffany is very passionate about uh, this issue of kidney disease yes. and, and and not just the actual the disease itself right how it impacts people but there's a whole system in place if you will uh of thought and of process for example with the racial racial adjustment i didn't know that right until i started doing this yeah. and everyone knows that that shouldn't be there and right so she's well, extremely is. passionate about that and i love her description of being a hurricane just standing over the over the situation until we uh, get people to do the right thing yeah and so when you support texas kidney foundation and and that hurricane process has uh, changed a lot, right? That's right, because we we now when when uh, I came into this, there was we had when a person got a transplant, mm -hmm. you would receive uh, assistance with your drugs for a certain period of time, but not for the duration mm -hmm. of the transplant, which is a terrible idea. Yeah. Why is that? A, uh, why is that? You, you're saying terrible. I'm just going to speak uh, colloquially. That's a stupid idea. Mm -hmm. And tell us why it's a stupid idea. Because if you the, those medications, the immunosuppressants cost uh, and what's the purpose 32 of 32 and 34 thousand dollars a year? Most people can't afford that. And what's the they purpose of the that. immunosuppressant? It, it's it's how you keep your kidney. The immunosuppressants actually keeps your body from rejecting keeps your body from rejecting the kidney. OK. And so if you don't have them, then then you're in dire straits. You'll 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 lose your kidney. And, and so anyway, we got that that we were a, a part of a coalition that just drove it home and got that passed. It's it's taken over 20 years to get that legislation passed. That's federal legislation. Um, mm -hmm. So we were we were uh, a an integral part of doing that mm -hmm. as the Texas Kidney Foundation. You don't. Uh, so, yeah. And, and what does it require? Being a hurricane. OK, <laughs> <That's what> it, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it doesn't. It is not for the faint of heart. Of the yeah, people. it is not. I, when I say that a lot, uh, Kevin always says the weak need not apply. Yeah, it that's down our, with <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that is correct. Right. But the thing there is that your passion, right, comes through. And uh, I think anyone on that first part uh, of the show will see that your passion comes through on that. And mm -hmm. that uh, and part of your passion is really spearheading it and, and getting uh, these events coming here in April. Now, I do know that in June you're doing an event and I'm, I have all this insider information <laughs> because of this passion and everything. I am leaving my job and coming in and that's worked this and then see what and what the impact that we can make for the community at large. But yeah. you have in April, you have the uh, the one, two, three golf and then comedy for kidneys. And in June, you have what else? What else is coming up in June? And we have have uh, Juneteenth, mm -hmm. which we do a big uh, 
we uh, get together with SACAM, the San Antonio African American Archive mm-hmm. and uh, Community Archive and Museum, mm-hmm. to um, to promote Juneteenth uh-huh. and to celebrate baseball, the baseball legends. We pair with uh, the mm-hmm. missions mm-hmm. to do that. And um, Who, who's the big the, sponsor of that? Who's sponsoring that? Uh, our big sponsor for that is HEB. HEB, okay. HEB has really stepped up, and uh, you know, HEB, their goal is to support our community mm-hmm. and to support our community with, with uh, especially as we look at healthier lifestyles and a lot of what we do in the world of, of kidney disease. A lot of kidney disease can mm-hmm. be prevented by what you put in your mouth. Yeah, so you have a lot of type, a lot of diabetes, diabetes is going to lead. Diabetes is the leading cause of kidney disease in uh, Bear County. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and really it's the leading cause of kidney disease. If you cut the state in half and went down, down towards the bottom of the state, the leading cause of kidney disease is uh, diabetes. And when you go off into areas like Dallas and Houston, then, then uh, you know, it, it's, going to be hypertension in those yeah. those particular areas but uh with with diabetes being a close second okay. you know following and following as a close second okay so you so, so you're partnering with heb there who, who mm-hmm. all so that's the and, key and heb is is uh supporting us also in uh in the one two three weekend yep. as well as well like heb has stepped up for the kidney community yep and so you have that. So thank you, Crystal. So what about SACAM? <laughs> Are you in SACAM doing the uh, and um, uh, doing Juneteenth? San Antonio African American. Oh yes, American the San Antonio African American Archive and a Community Archive and okay, Museum. I don't see that part. Um, that's okay. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, we we are teaming up as as uh, this is our second time doing this, and and really, I think that it's one of the the best organizations in in uh, San Antonio to partner with, especially um, for African Americans, because as we talk about things like history, mm-hmm. um, then it's museums uh, that that chronicle the mm. history of what's happening in a in a people group in health mm-hmm. in whatever is going on in the community uh they're the ones who do that yeah so you know so the, the part that i want because i love the baseball history also oh the because we we partnered up to to do this during juneteenth because baseball was so prolific in the um in the civil rights movement it's been prolific in the african-american community mm-hmm. and it's and it's one of the and first also in places the Hispanic community in well. the Hispanic community and in the white community it's one of the first places where we saw us all come together as mm-hmm. people and as different people groups and celebrate something that we love which was the American pastime right. baseball all right. So we do see that this passion that you have is hurricane like. <laughs> because you know what? My yes. passion is also that we're more alike than we are we different. Are, right? And when I when things like this come up, it's the time where we can see that as Americans, mm-hmm. we have so much in common and so much to be grateful for. Right. We live in a great place. Ms. Joan Smith, we have under anyway, four I'm minutes. Sorry. We're rolling down on four minutes. See, All right. So I, I got you don't started. Don't cut me off when I'm talking about being <laughs> American and how great America is. He don't, okay, y'all need so, to be calling in and tell him don't be cutting me off when so, I'm talking about how great the country is. So let, okay, there you go. So, <laughs> I'm not going to say anything else to you. All right. So <laughs> what we have, right? So we've told you a little bit about who we are, what we do, and our why. And so you, 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 you hear my, my wife's personality, right? So the wheat need not apply in our <laughs> relationship, right? And, that, and the passion that Tiffany has and brings uh, to, uh, to this thing on the Texas Kidney uh, Foundation. And then also the things that are happening and that, that we are doing. And I say we, because, you know, it's a family event. Uh, so on this here, but just a lot of wonderful things that are being done in the community. And I know uh, most people are like, oh, it's kidney disease. 
disease. Now, there are a lot of things that will lead up to kidney disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, right? So all those things will lead up to that. And so, and I'm, and I'm, I'm about to share something here so that we're held accountable for this one, uh, is that, uh, you, you don't know, if you, those of you who see me on YouTube, right, I put on a little bit of pudginess right here. So I went and me got too. measured for clothing and I was me two too. inches everywhere, two inches increase around my chest, two inches around my, it was just everywhere. It was worse than being at the doctor's office. And so uh, we're, we're going to, uh, here at the end of what, April, first part of May, we've committed to the first part of May. That's we're right. going to uh, go through a challenge of, of healthy eating and weight loss. And we're not, what we're going to do is we're going to bring uh, our, our cameras into the house uh, yep. and we're going to. And we're going to do this with, with uh, the wonderful yeah, uh, Sherry be, Braxton. So Sherry from Braxton. Sherry Fitness. She is, and, is uh, that lady is amazing. Oh. She's offered her services to, uh, to Texas Kidney Foundation and to the the people that we serve. I mean, she believes 100 percent in the power of change and personal empowerment through exercise and diet and diet. And what and we she embodies that. And so our premise is going to be we want to take and look at what would it take just for the average person with an average diet. And you just go to your local H-E-B and purchase food. What type of food would you need to purchase? Right. To, uh, to one, uh, lose weight. Right. And what process? And so Tiffany knows a few people uh, who specialize in diet. Right. We're going to have those guys on there and interviewing them. Mm -hmm. So more, so we, we say that publicly to say that's what we're going to be held to a commitment of. And when we yeah. uh, uh, go in there uh, and, and show you what does it take? to lose the weight? What does it take? And what, are you, what is and your blood And we're starting like? in May, you all. We're starting the first week of May. That's that right. We're Some starting the first there. week of May. So you're going to see what this looks like. Oh, Lord. I'm going to let y'all see my, my cupboards. Yeah. Not pretty. Yeah. For someone who works at the Junk Texas. in there. I should not be eating or serving to my children, but I'm doing it. Yeah. And so we're going to go ahead and walk <laughs> people through that. Right. And you're going to get to see that. And you get to hear uh, from uh, the, a diet adjustment. Tiffany keeps throwing out the term plant based, which is just causing me to get all riled plant up. Plant based is good. Yeah. But it's going to be more. But what we're doing show is you how increasing plant, plant based, uh, you know, increasing vegetables. Uh, and, and eating clean and cooking it the right way. And then we're working yeah. with a few other people who are going to give us mm -hmm. some good recipes because, uh, I don't know and we've got a great doctor working with us. Uh, Dr. Broman, we're going to, we're yeah. going to knock this out. Yeah. Um, but you've been listening to on the record with Tiffany. Remember to, to, uh, support us. Uh, so buy a team, buy a ticket mm -hmm. for, uh, um, comedy for kidneys, come out and laugh and enjoy, uh, some good fun with us while we uh, raise the money to empower our patients to better health and a better tomorrow. Um, you've been listening to On the Record with Tiffany on 9.30 a.m. The Answer, and we can be seen on the African American Network television where we have a local feel with a global reach. <laughs> <laughs>